Rikëtemi në këtë pjesë dy të intervjisës me ambasadorën e shteteve të bashkuara në Shqipëri, zonjën Juri Kim. Zonjën ambasadorë, duke sërë keni bërë pashe me Ilir Medhen. It seems that you have, you know, part at peace with Ilir Medhen lately. I've always had a good relationship with him. Um, you know, as diplomats, we strive to have a good relationship with all leaders. And um, I think that uh, all relationships have uh, ups and downs, but um, it's important to maintain open lines of communication and also to produce results from those relationships. So I'm, I'm pleased that we're able to do that. Uh, when it comes to the results that uh, you co-produced with uh, the president and, 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 and the rest of the institutions about the Constitutional Court, because that's, the, yeah. that's what you call success, right? But uh, m m many of us see that uh, only as a peace achieved by interested parties to continue having the Constitutional Court under political influence. So. What guarantees that this behavior in respect of laws and constitution will be different from the past? I think that uh, we have to wait and see here. And uh, you may have seen that um, mm -hmm. I've gone to see uh, the members of the Constitutional Court um, and I went there with the EU ambassador. Um, others have also done the same to encourage them um, to take their role seriously, which I believe that they do. And uh, one of the things that I mentioned to them when I met with them was when I look at the United States and what we have been through, one of the things that I'm really proud of uh, is the fact that um, federal judges, when it came to very difficult decisions, made decisions on the basis of their interpretation of the law without regard to who put them in those jobs. Mm. And I think that that's something that uh, Albanians also want, and they should have, and they can have. So I think it's really important, um, this whole uh, notion of certain institutions or certain persons being captured um, is very harmful. And I think uh, that we are right to have the expectation that uh, judges and prosecutors and institutions will now show that at the end of the day, um, their interest is that of the Albanian people, not of specific individuals. Uh, actually, you refer to the case of uh, Amy Coney Barrett, the last uh, member of the Supreme Court of the United States elected by President Trump, and who opposed whatever uh, his lawyers uh, uh, um, ask on the Supreme Court about the results, which actually showed her credibility and her personality as a judge who put in front the public interest in front of the political uh, uh, political interest of one side. But uh, the election of the last members of our constitutional court, as I consulted, you know, people who know the rules, they went again through ir irregularities. So they were not chosen between three candidates. Yeah. There was either one sole candidate or two candidates. Uh, and yet, whatever, whoever opposed the irregularities before, this time it was okay for them. President Meta opposed that before, but then he was okay now. Uh, the Democrats uh, opposed it before, they, they were okay now. The social is the same. So my question is, is it important to have a better constitutional court or it's enough just to have one. I think that uh, people should expect a constitutional court that functions with credibility, with independence, and with integrity. Um, this country has been without a constitutional court for almost three years. That's ridiculous. Um, and I think that, uh, uh, I hate to be cynical, but sometimes I think the demand for perfection is a way to prevent progress. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, even the Venice Commission recognized that. So in the opinion that they issued, they made it very clear that this is an urgent problem that needs an urgent solution and that the responsible institutions needed to work together. And so they did, and um, you're right. It's not a perfect solution, 
Um, but I think it's uh, the necessary solution and uh, it's a workable solution. So now the Constitutional Court has quorum. Um, they have been meeting and I understand that they have issued their first judgment. Yes, so what did you think about that judgment? Uh, that's uh, not my business to comment on their judgment.